What's going on YouTube? It's Rogue Ren and today we got some more Life is Strange. I thought my controller was broke for a second. But bro, last episode, episode two, we had to say RIP to Kate. Hey, I did everything I could to stop that. Honestly, I did everything I could. But you can only do so much, bro, I guess. Apparently you could have saved her too. So it kind of had me flabbergasted when I seen that shit. But bro. Come on, bro. I did everything in my power. Everything. Everything on some Bardock. You feel me? I did everything. In the previous episode. Kate! You having nightmares, bro? I knew Chloe would be all over this, so I better get moving. All over what? I still can't stop thinking about Kate. It's like I'm awake in a bad dream. Are you a hungry bunny? Here, nosh on this. Okay. I don't think I've been feeding him, bro. I know it's the third episode, but... Who oh, knows? I can't even take care of a plant, much less a person. Oh, well. What am I good for? Plants are done with. I was gonna try to water it, but uh, fork it. And uh, excuse my dogs, y'all. Kate, I swear I will use all of my power to find out who really pushed you off that roof. Um. Right. Are we really, I really do hope. We figure out uh, what happened in that video and everything around that. Okay, this is scary dark. Let there be... This is my prayer for you, Kate. Bless your gentle soul. That's so fucked up, bro. Real talk. I, I just want to, just out of curiosity though, I, do, I would want to see what the video was about. The fuck? Why can't I just walk in her room? Hey, can you come in here for a minute? What's up, Dana? Hey, Dana. How are you doing? I just can't stop thinking about Kate. And if this is my fault too. She was depressed. I knew she was depressed, but I had no idea how bad. Must be serious to throw yourself off the roof. That's all you know? That's really all you know? Like, why would I know anything else? And Max, it's not cool to treat me as if I'm some suspect. I have a fucking headache now. So please, let me crash. You... Didn't she... But hold on, didn't she just say, I think it's kind of my fault. That's all you know. You know, I'm asking the question. How's that? I'm not trying to treat you like a suspect, but you it's kind of my fault. Like, how? But hey. Why does that say window from all the way from here? And then I see a, a shrine. So Chloe is waiting for me in front of the main hall. Jesus. I still can't believe she jumped. I feel like something bad about to happen. Oh, the most magical insects. Burn bright. What is that noise? Principal ah, Wells. Oh, are you serious? I'm, I'm toast there. if he sees me. Nobody can expel me. Not yet, anyway. I'm toast if he sees me. Why? Like, where are you going to hide? 
feeling sorry for myself when Kate Barsh's family is in mourning. They'll probably sue the... Gotta be right out of Oregon. Now I understand, Miss Caulfield. You have to be stealthier than that. You're not supposed to be outside your dormitory at this hour. You know that. I'm sorry, Principal Wells. I, I'm still upset about Kate. I needed some air. This and man is walk. drinking I'm sorry on you property. Had to go through that today. You tried to help, but God damn it, Blackwell is my responsibility. And I, I let her and Kate my, down. Bruh, my nigga. Go on back inside. Get some rest. <sighs> it's been a shitty day. If you was going drinking shit. Good night, Max. Why didn't you just stay in your fucking. Great. So how do I get past him to meet Chloe? again broken but like bro if you was gonna drink why not just do that in your office be a little bit more private about it or just bro go home are you supposed to looks like bad news booyah playing too much get it booyah like I'm a scary punk ghost. Well, like a scary and sensitive asshole. Chloe, I watched my friend jump off a roof today. I don't think you need to prank me tonight. You always trip out on me for not being there for you, but is this how you're there for me? I don't I'm, know why she just said that. I'm sorry, Max. That last part was I, I wasn't even thinking. I suck. I'm not trying to be a bitch, but I'll never get the image out of my head of Kate jumping off that roof. All because my power didn't work. It didn't mean shit. I know seeing Kate fall was horrible. I don't even know how to deal with that, so I just act like an idiot. But it's your badass power that's gonna bring all this to a close. We just need to connect the players. And find out who really killed Kate. We have to stop this from happening to anybody else. Oh yeah, and somehow stop that tornado from wiping out Arcadia Bay, right? Didn't you say that it was all about chaos theory? I don't see any control over this chaos. Oh, right. Except for your ability to... Oh, yeah. Manipulate time and space? No biggie. Chloe, I just feel weird about some of my decisions. Especially after I just got Nathan expelled. Dude, do not even torture yourself like that. Let's focus on looking for clues, okay? Right. For one thing, there's too much coincidence between the people around Kate and Rachel. Like Step Prick and Nathan Prescott? Of course. They're both sociopaths. More like psychopaths. The Blackwell security officer even hits his own stepdaughter. And even though I don't know her, it feels like Rachel is guiding us to the truth. Fuck the truth. I just want to find my friend right now. It scares me to think where she could be. Do you think she's... Bro, why are they trying to make me finish the sins? They are childish as hell. Um... Alive? I have to think that, Chloe. Her spirit is so powerful here. Maybe too much power. Max, we have to find Rachel soon. We have to. I promise you we will. Like you said, it's time to start the search for clues. Now tell me what's your secret. Drum roll, please. I present the spare keys to Blackwell. Thank you, step prick. You are such a boss, Chloe. <laughs> I just 
don't want you to get into any more trouble. Look at all the trouble dropping in Arcadia Bay. At this point, who gives a fuck anymore? We're in it to win it, Max. Lead the way. I'm so glad you're my partner in crime. As long as you're my partner in time. Insert groan here. I mean, okay. I wouldn't have did that gun shit, but if you can do you something like this and you so can rewind time, together a portfolio. I guess. Hopefully the rest of the class will follow your lead. I'm sorry I was distracted. As you know, it's not been a good day for Blackwell. I know this has been an awful day and you can talk to me anytime, Mr. Jefferson. Thank you, Victoria. I imagine uh, you're pretty upset over Kate as well. I'm like still in shock. I've never seen anybody die. I really cared about Katie. Katie? I had no idea you two were that close. Did she? Well, how does this affect the Everyday Heroes contest? It doesn't. The contest is still a go, and I still have to pick the winner to best represent Blackwell. I've got all the photos, except one from Max. I'll give you a one-word sneak preview of Max's photo. Selfie. Listen, you've seen my entry. You know it's better than that. Wouldn't that be so cool to hang out together in San Francisco, Mark? Stick to Mr. Jefferson, Victoria, please. And, uh, I haven't picked a winner yet. You already love my work, so it's not like you're playing favorites. Just imagine if you picked my photo, though. We would have to spend a lot of time together. That could be fun, don't you think? I'm going to think that you didn't say any of that. You might as well choose me. Otherwise, I might have to tell people you offered to choose my photo for favors or something. As a favor to your future, I'll also ignore that undisguised threat. This conversation is officially over, Miss Chase. I suggest you go back to your dorm now. Wait! I only... Are you fucking kidding me? She's an angel. when I think Victoria can't get any more evil. Shit is about to get real at Blackwell. Let's go find out. Chloe the Keymaster. You know it. Dude, I don't know about this. We're both already in so much trouble. You can always let me get busted like you did with the weed. I'm serious. We're not kids anymore. We're breaking and entering. If I have a you key, how can it be breaking? I'm not sure get about this. Charge us for just entering. I'm serious. We could go to jail. Not if I'm related to the head of Blackwell security. You're already Step in, will bro. not want me in the hands of the local police. So we better find out what's in the principal's office first. You can rewind if we get caught, right? You have mad powers, Max. Tell that to Kate. Come on. One more door and our work here is done. That's it. What the fuck? The security officer should have the key to the principal's office. He's hiding shit, like everybody here. Well, now we definitely have to get this door open. Believe it or not, I know a little about lockpicking, thanks to Frank. I might as well test out my thief skill. Go for it. We're already in this deep. Well, you could look for the key, just in case. Why, yes, I could. Well, looks like I'm looking for the key. Dead end. Nothing here. I'm not even gonna look at these motherfuckers no more. Here oh, are the keys. Hell. None for the principal's office. I was about to say. Nothing to see here. Nothing to see here. Find this freaking key. <sighs> no keys here. I 
I feel bad for the twee hipster who lost this beret. I bet he's cute. Nothing. Squirrels like nuts. Does that mean Samuel is... Nah. Desolation. No key for thee. We have to find another way in. Guess I didn't spend enough time with Frank. But I'll use my DIY lockpick tools while you come up with a better plan. My plan has a name. Hey, Warren, you busy? Just bubble hearth, you'll be okay. Listen, I need your physics expertise stat. Without naming names, if somebody had access to the art and science labs and wanted to construct a device that would, say, open a locked door, would you maybe kind of know how? Huh? No, I'm just asking for fun. Thanks, science guy. Uh, no, 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 stay. We need you as backup. Just send the text instructions now. Yes, I'm still all in to go ape with you at the drive-in. Thanks for the hope. <laughs> this sucks ass. Goddamn door. Try not to wake up everybody at Blackwell. Sorry, Max. I got nothing. What about your plan? Oh, hell no. I'm gonna go put it together. Can you stay here and not get caught? <laughs> I might get on the other side of that door before you, Lupin. Decent, the race is Bill on. Nah. See you soon. Any questions? Sodium core, what the fuck? I like Warren though, I like him, I like him though. He's cool, he's cool. Warren is such a classic nerd. Let's see if I can find those items. Bro, I was tripping for a second. Release the crack can. It's all mine anyway. Only three more items to go. I hate that formalin smell. Ooh, sugar. You're halfway home, Max. What else do I need? You still there? Did you blow up? Max? Still here, didn't blow up that yet. I need to concentrate now. Talk to you later. Big facts, bro. Hold on. What do we need, bro? Bro, what is that, bro? What is that? I honestly don't even know what we're looking for. Here's the sodium chlorate box. You know you're clumsy, Max. Don't waste your rewind power. Use the damn chair. Only one more ingredient left. And what the hell was that? Let me make sure it wasn't anything back here, bro, because I honestly don't even remember. Hold on, man. No forgetting nothing. Bro. 
Only a B minus? Warren has shattered my faith. Of course, I'm barely passing science. A periodic table. Wish I knew what periodic means. Uh, I'm still stuck off at, at Miss Victoria. Uh, she tried throw that, you know, throw that neck piece. I'm like, wow, bro, you really trying to throw that neck, bro? On school grounds? It's crazy, but crazy. This is like a scene in a horror film. Damn. Oh, Kate. Victoria. Daniel's a better illustrator than photographer, <laughs> said Max, the art critic. I feel gross even looking at Nathan's work, but he does have some style. Bro, what are we looking for? I thought we used some tape in Jefferson's class last there week. There we go. It's fucking the tape. tape is mine. Shit, I did not remember what the fuck. Now mean? it's time to show Chloe that Max is the bomb. Oh no. I wish there was a run button on this motherfucker. Shit. He walking all slow. Because then we got to make it in here or whatever. Never said they were great, troll. You just go straight. <laughs> I ain't gonna do that. That's dumb. Fuck. So do I just go there with the ingredients like this, bruh? Take it easy on the door, Chloe. Let's try this instead. Boom! Literally. Yes! Time to blow shit up! If you'll light the candle. This is so cool! Get ready to haul ass. <laughs> that was so fucking cool! Bruh, this is... This is not oh, it. we are toast! Here comes the whole Arcadia Bay Fire and Police Department. Uh, so what should we do? Total phony would wear a crappy hat like that. Some somehow I can turn off the alarm. Let me see. But uh, I don't think I can. Bully free zone. I really thought that's what it said. Maybe, um, let me do this real quick. Take it easy.
Like... So they want me to guarantee, they want me to... Take it easy on... Open, she can't cheat with a rewind. Oh, wow. Bullshit. Fuck you, door. <laughs> Welcome to my that. domain. I you are slow. magic. That's crazy. I have no clue how the hell you got in there, but you did it, sister. The company I keep. Now, let's find what we want and beat it. My powers wow. only go so far. Man, I can see why the principal locks this room. I need to start thinking Fancy about this. Fancy art crap. He must want everybody to know he has money, but no taste. How can you trust somebody who has a fucking bronze bird in his office? I'm glad I was expelled. Yes, if only the principal had a Monet or Picasso, you'd still be at Blackwell. Eat me. I'm gonna pill for the papers on this ugly ass desk. Okay, sure. It's ugly, but damn, is it a cozy chair. This is your chance to truly get all deductive and shit, Sherlock. Find us some clues about Rachel, or Kate, or Nathan. Anybody. I'm on the case. She's capping. She is capping. Bro, why am I the only one looking for, like, clues? If I would have signed the petition, I could have made the difference. Look at this pile. Tumbleweeds. Rachel doesn't seem so troubled based on all this. But there's not much here about the police investigation. Hmm. Man, I don't blame the principal for expelling Chloe. Bad Chloe. She has caused numerous of class disruptions with inappropriate comments and rude gestures to fellow students. She was recently suspended for spray painting graffiti in the parking lot. GPA of 1.7. Why are they the only two in this file? It's weird. Only two more files to go. And nothing here. I'd drink too if I was the principal of Blackwell. But nigga, just uh. Wowzer, this will so not come in handy. Dude, I know I shouldn't be going through the principal's files, but it's kind of cool. Just please don't accidentally delete his hard drive or anything. Like you can't rewind and fix it. I don't want to make it a habit, okay? Whatever, crackhead. You're hooked. Don't talk. Search. Crackhead. Oh, I like it when you get bossy. She don't do any You're drugs? learning from the master. At all? And you don't do crack and she doesn't do crack? But, what the? Like I'm not- This file is going to be so spotless, I'll projectile vomit. Hmm. Let's nab this like I'm not gonna read my own personal. I have to thoughts. make sure Warren doesn't have a criminal background. This man got a 4.0. Crack. 
Man, I don't blame the principal for expelling Chloe. Bad Chloe. So, Nathan Prescott's dad is a bully, too. Shocker. The recent outrageous allegations against my son and his suspension, I feel that. You're not so tacky up close. Wowzer, this will so not come in handy. This pretty much sums up Kate. Shy and sweet. And in the wrong room. place. At a work clip party that has been uploaded onto the internet without her knowledge or alleged consent along with her claim to be taken to the hospital during the party. I think we found everything in here. I should go join Chloe now. Max, you better come check out these files. Nathan accuses Rachel of bringing drugs on campus, and my step troll went along because he thinks Rachel was a bad influence on me. Assholes. If David is teaming up with Nathan Prescott, that's a bad sign. Nathan Prescott III. Ooh, he's so money. And you know the Prescotts dropped major bank to bury Nathan's real file. Look, it reads like a rap sheet. Bad grades, teacher complaints, secret probation. But I was expelled? At least Nathan was finally suspended. Check out that note. Open it. It's just some crazy drawing. It's not a drawing. Look. Rachel in the dark room. Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. That's fucked up. What does this even mean? Nathan is truly psychotic. I know he has something to do with Rachel missing. Whoa. Listen to this. David M. always asks what's going on in my head. David M. always helps me follow those he follows. <sighs> it's pretty cryptic. Well, no, it sounds like they formed some sort of weird team, the Super Hebros. Jesus. David was stalking Kate, hassling me, and now we know he was all over Rachel, too. Oh, we are so going into his garage files. Plus, I'm getting a little paranoid in here. We got our info. Let's bail. But maybe we shouldn't leave without a gift. No, you are not taking the cozy chair. Max, do your powers include mind reading? Or did you just rewind because I tried to steal the chair? Shit, I'm confused. It's the powers of best friendship. I know how you roll. We should definitely get out of here. We pressed our luck enough. Hello, what have we here? Holy shit! Jackpot! Cha-ching! Wow, sir. That's a lot for the handicapped fund. Dude, there's $5,000 here. I could pay Frank back tonight. This'll chill him out after our knife showdown yesterday. Are you gonna make a big issue out of this? Or just rewind and take the greenbacks for yourself? I hope you do that instead of lecturing me. You really want to take money from the handicapped fund? I know you need to pay Frank back, but... I've got my power to protect you, right? There's a lot of power in that horse-choking wad of cash. But yes, Moral Max is right again. I guess. Let's get the hell out of this You're office, You're trying to steal Mom. money from the handicapped fund because you owe a motherfucker money. What are you doing, big bear? Job, it. I know that money would have helped Chloe and me. No, I'm not rewinding that. That impish look scares me. Care for a midnight swim? The Blackwell pool is ours. Swimming? You want to take that risk now? It's been a cray week. You didn't let me take that money to pay off Frank, so if he pops a cap in my skull, at least allow me to have a little carefree fun for a few minutes. Splish splash? You're right. We hella deserve it. Splish splash. Did you actually Again, just say I would hella? Not do I this. think I'm a good bad influence on you. I would not 
be doing this. What are you doing? Bruh, y'all sneaking around the pool. Bruh, this is the pool. This is not smart at all, bruh. No, bruh. Should at least lock the doors back. We're in the otter's lair. Big fucking deal. I want that heated water. We still have to play it cool, okay? I still go to school here. You can own this hellhole once you figure out your rewind power. Chloe is so psyched for girls' night out, so I better follow her evil plan. Boys or girls? Fuck, why would we go on the... Why would we go in the boys' locker room? Just going to girls. Boys. No, I didn't mean to, bruh. Figures, perv. Let me check to see if the pool's heated. I did not even mean to click that, bruh. Boys or girls? What'd she say for girls? Girls, of course. Girls. Ooh la la. Let me check to see if the pool's heated. Boys or girls? Boys, of course. Figures. Perv. What's the difference? Dude, it's getting old. Try and dazzle me with another trick. Bruh, I wanted to go to the girls, bruh, because I feel like coming in here, something is going to happen that's not going to be good. No way am I touching Zach's jersey. Why do niggas just leave themselves? Zach is really careless. Doesn't he know what happens when I'm around? Bad things about you, cool. What are you wearing? Just my crystal necklace and phone. Hot. What are you wearing? I'm in the locker room. I'm only wearing a jersey. Sitting on my football. <laughs> Betty developed that in Jefferson's class. But why? It's okay for Nathan to be hooked on these drugs, right? I guess somebody forgot their Blackwell spirit. I guess I should consider this evolution. Dana, I know I'm an a-hole, but I still care about you, love Logan. Oof. Sex be up. What did she say to that? Boys locker room is right. Huh, it's nice to know Victoria loves something besides herself. <laughs> Welcome to 1950. I bet you do. Max Caulfield, Moral Avenger. Max Caulfield, Moral Avenger. Or self-righteous hypocrite. Bros will be bros.
This isn't a desperate cry for attention or anything. Where does that other sock go? <laughs> Looks like Brooke wants to go to the drive-in with Warren. A bus ticket? Was she going to run away? Like Rachel Amber? Hmm. Is that Kate? Oh yeah, it is. The wit, it burns. So, Victoria's secret is selfies. Go fuck your... No. Jefferson said, don't confuse art with the artist. These are cool shots. Those are some musty-ass old shirts. Ugh. Yuck. I hope so, friend. Max, try to find the light for the pool. I want to see the sharks. Sharks? Otters don't like sharks. They bite. So do I. Hit that light. Fucking light it. <clears throat> light. Where yet? Where is the light? Oh my gosh, bro, where is this light at, bro? Oh my goodness, bro. In case I run out of air, I know where to go. There has to be a control panel for the lights around here. Give me about three motherfucking million years to find this shit. All right. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Time to do or dive, Max. Uh, you gonna get dressed or something, bro? Uh, you feel me? Oh, yeah, baby. Feels like a hot tub. Too bad you made me feel like the queen of assholes because I wanted that cash stash. Tell me you're not gonna stand there watching me like a zombie. Come stop me, hippie. Okay, you asked for it. What are you making that face for? Cowabunga! Why, look, an otter in my water. Dun 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 dun. You are so obvious. And I still get freaked out by that movie, so stop. I can't even watch any of those shark shows. I like I'll that just tattoo. rewind and harpoon you. Otter's revenge. Cheater. Yeah, you wouldn't know about that. <laughs> I wish Rachel was here. 
She would totally love being in here at night. Wish you guys had met each other. I wish I could float on my back. With all this stuff going on, I'm starting to think everything is related. And I want to find out why for Kate's sake. She didn't deserve to die. Your power is changing everything, Max. Especially you. I can already tell. You're not so chicken shit anymore. Thanks, girlfriend. You know what I mean. You're becoming like this force of nature. More like luck of nature. Come on, my power failed trying to rescue Kate. Maybe I'm just stumbling back and forth in time. For what reason? You didn't stumble when you saved me, Max. Thank God. But what if I had? What if you and Kate would both be dead? So it's time to start moving forward in time. And we're obviously connected since without me you would have never discovered your power, right? Let me just say absolutely. You make me feel like I know what I'm doing. And you make me feel like I have a reason for still being in Arcadia Bay. I hope so. Stop being so goddamn humble. You're like the smartest, most talented person I've ever known. More than Rachel Amber? Dude, I'm not her groupie, okay? And I'm sure you have Blackwell bros all over you. Like Warren. Warren is... nice. <laughs> nice? Ouch. That means friend zone. No, he's really cool. It was so sweet when he stood up to Nathan. But I haven't told him about my rewind power. No worries. Once you get over yourself, you're gonna make the world bow. As long as you're there with me. Don't look so sad. I'm never leaving you. Now I'm getting cold in here. Because we're yapping instead of attacking each other, Otter versus Shark style. I uh, think I've had my pool experience for the year. Let's check. Let's call it a draw. I'm gonna freeze my ass off when I get out. Gross. I feel like we just went swimming in Chlorine Bay. You look cute with your hair soaked in chemicals. Thanks. You would know. Hide! Hide. We have to go now! Yeah, how the hell did you bring me back here? Are you shitting me? <laughs> oh man. Don't hide, like when we were kids. I could use my power, or just look for a hiding spot, or both. Where are they? Hello? Anybody there? Better not try any Halloween pranks after today. I'm serious. I heard something over here. Who's here? I got I got a flashlight and a stick. <laughs> I was about to say, if this man came back in here. 
But go ahead and leave, shit. This man here. So invisible. Let's bail. Wait, turn around. They're coming. We have to find another way out. Oh, this is bullshit. You can't go back to your dorm now. You're a Blackwell fugitive. Crash at my place tonight. You want me to crash where the Blackwell security officer lives so I'll be safe? Uh, okay. Into the car. <laughs> 